Well, the anime is literally called Instant Death, so I'm not sure what I was expecting other than, you know, the main character saying die and everyone just dies. Which is apparently totally different be between like instant death magic and what he's doing. And goddamn, I don't think I'm going to look at the comments ever again. Holy shit, what a shit fest my comment section was the last episode. Just billions of people just spoiling and just spoiling, but... It is what it is. I'll still try to make it as entertaining as possible. Now, we've been summoned here by Tunnel Kun, right? So basically, a truck or some kind of train or a bus passes through Tunnel, and Tunnel Kun transports us to this different realm. But the weirdest thing is, this is like some people's like second time doing an isekai, which caught me off guard. And time flows in a very weird way. And the girl that pretty much... I don't know if she summoned us, but the girl that says my power level is 530,000. She's basically trying to make us all sages for what? I have no clue, but it's still a pretty interesting premise. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> I feel like there was no subtitles there. <laughs> Who is this idiot? Masahiko. Not to interfere with sage candidates. Okay. What the fuck are you here to do then? How unknown just say die. Bye. Ew. Creepy dude, dude. Ugh. I hope we can say die to him later. Major creepy. <laughs> she was afraid that he would kill her. Okay, okay. So she was running away for his safety. Not that she was... She was kind of creepy. He was definitely creepy, but she was like, damn. We saw last episode, he just fucking said Shine and they all die. So he's like, we gotta run? That's pretty funny. Homicidal maniac. I mean, I, I mean. What did you just say? Wait, wait, wait. I'm shocked by the fact you don't even realize that's exactly what you are. A homicidal maniac? Well, we were doing self-defense, right? We were totally doing self-defense. Those dudes are... I mean, the dudes wanted to kill her and turn it into a zombie so that they couldn't have pleasure with her. Like, come on. I mean, like, we're doing self-defense, dude. She's not really wrong, though. Yes, we are sage candidates. Ooh, cat girl. Mireyu. Isekais and cat girls and ending everything saying, Yeah, we'll never get old, man. Cat puns. <laughs> this is so interesting how Sage candidates get so much preferential treatment, huh? <laughs> what? I don't think he. Well. Is that all from her? Oh, she bought that. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why is there five dudes lined up ready to fight us? There's a lizard man. There's a bunch of beast people and some humans. Okay, it's time for some Shine moments. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. There was like six more people in front of us. What if I thought we were just about to fucking go in home. Okay. All right. There's fucking 11 bandits around us. NPC bandits, guys. NPC bandits. Okay. How about we take everything you have? It's pretty shitty, though. They're pretty much just looking for, you know, weaker people to step on. All right, it's time to say die, and they gon' die. Shine. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill you now. Huh? Shine. Shine. Oh, but we are. We're gonna kill you. I, no, no, no. I don't think you understand what's about to happen. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Shine. Shine. 
Oh, I missed this. My bad. There was some dialogue about how Mire you basically set us up. So this cat girl fucking set us up. My bad. I missed that. All right. She can die too. I don't give a fuck about the nya at the end. You can't bait me with that. <laughs> Here's the thing. Because everyone got a gift. But what's her main character's name? Yogiri or something? He doesn't have a gift. Because he's like some kind of... Science lab baby? I don't know, based off of episode one and, and the scenes that we've seen where he was seemingly like escaping like some kind of facility, he has already pre-built powers, which is basically much better than everything here, right? So they think that we're weak. This girl really got no powers though, huh? Does this girl really have no powers? She's just useless like that? Yogiri doesn't need him because he already had powers, but I guess this girl never got a gift. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Can we do multi death? Can we do multi? When did that happen? Wait, when did that happen? Wait, 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 was the cause of the AOE death? Did he already say death multiple times in his head? I don't know, but can he just say this? If he just says, all right, people behind me can just die. He doesn't need to say it. Yeah, I'm trying to understand like the mechanics of how this death works, but if he doesn't have to say it and he can just kind of think it and they die, I mean, it's already fucking busted, but you know, I'm just trying to understand the rules. And they dead. And they dead. Goodbye. I told you to die. See the eye again, the eye again. Half die? Wait, we can torture people like that? Half die? Wait, 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 wait. Half is still too much. So there's like different levels of dying. So I guess later on we'll meet monsters, obviously, like, because like that 530,000 power level girl, can we truly just say die and will she die? There's gotta be some kind of limit, right? So this is kind of proving us that, hey, we can pretty much like gauge the level of die, right? Half die implies that this is like 50% of his power. 50% was already too much. So maybe in the future, there'll be people that's able to like, you know, you know, prevent him from just saying die and die. I don't know. Maybe they'll just take damage like that. I'm trying to think of like how this could be special. <laughs> right ankle. Wait, what? Are they all still dying though? Wait, wait, wait. Did, did the left ankle and the right shoulder, did they actually die here too or are they just like in pain? This is interesting. Okay. I oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yahoo>! <laughs> Testicles. Dick, do that right now to him, please. A monster. What do you mean, good question? What are you? Does he even know what he is? Maybe he doesn't? Interesting. Okay, killing off single parts of their bodies isn't very efficient, but it's good for torturing. It's very fun. I'm also not cool with the fact that it comes off like torture. Oh, I, I mean, I guess that's only me enjoying the torture. My bad. No, cat girl, no. I don't give a fuck about your starving brothers. Don't care. They can all die too. True? <laughs> die. Oh, here we are. What? It didn't hit. Huh? Wait, 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 no. Maybe it's like a delayed death? Wait, that was weird. Maybe he pointed at something else? Interesting. Uh, surely he's not. Oh, it's a delayed one. Goodbye, cat girl. I'm not gonna feel sorry for you or your starving brothers. Can we? Ah, shit. Yeah, can we though? Captain of the guard. You got Jorge and we have Edelgard. Okay, alright. The bandits attacked us. Yeah, they jumped us. <laughs> Yeah, they all have bad stomach aches. I don't know. Yeah, what the fuck? They were watching this entire time? 
Okay, maybe you know what? We need to kill the castle guards too. Okay. We were trying to hunt these goons. That's your excuse for why didn't you help us? In other words, your goal was to tell them and find out what they would get, we get sold off to. What? So they're basically using us bait to lead off to the higher food chain. Okay, I see what they're doing. You garbage! Yo, they should die too. You're so proud of that too? She's so proud of it. Protection of the sages. But we don't have a gift. But that's interesting. Protection of the sages. Sages get gifts. These gifts grant magical powers. And they're very strong. But they can also get countered by the protection of sages. But then you have Yogiri, which is just outside of everything. So it doesn't matter. You gonna die. You better go. You better get the fuck out of here. Maybe Jorge's kind of nice. Never mind, it's George. I, it's a, George would be G E O R G E. That's Jorge. Fuck you. No, that's Jorge. All right, what do we got here? Cool. That's some nice housing. Gonna share a bed? I don't know. What? Is she slowly falling for him? I don't really get it. Maybe? Fancy room. Let's share the bed. Yogiri doesn't really seem to care about that. He, like, well, the the boob jiggle, right? He, he The whole thing of why he saved her was because of the boob jiggle. Does he really simp for her, though? Based on his action, not really. He just seems very just like indifferent about it. He does enjoy the movies, but for the most part, he's like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Okay. She's been getting hard carried by him. What is she gonna actually do though? Like, what is her purpose right now? Okay, boing. <laughs> Giga Chad. <laughs> he was so straightforward with that too. Uh oh. That thing there. What was that? Was that her power? I don't know. Okay. From the trailer, I think we're about to see her face. And her face is going to be kind of ridiculous, right? I think I remember this lady from the trailer. Yeah. The ghost, right? Hello? <laughs> the fuck? Big sister? Big <laughs> What the fuck is this? Yeah, look at this. Quit dumping so much info. What the fuck is this? But okay, we have a guardian spirit out of nowhere that kind of resembles her sister. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're like five minutes late. Where the fuck were you when we were getting attacked by the bandits? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> can we kill a ghost like that too? Yeah, so spirits can get affected by death magic? Okay. Okay. Her voice acting is actually pretty good. It, it is pretty entertaining, right? Listen to her voice acting. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Protect from the supernatural. She prevented the gift from being installed. Because there must be some negative effects, right? Yeah, what happens? What happens when we get the gift? A puppet. You become no more than a puppet to the sages, even though we ourselves are sage candidates. Interesting. What about Yogiri, right? Why did Yogiri not get the gift? Was that because he was just sleeping the entire time? Did she protect? I don't know. But right now, I don't know about anyone else. Interesting here. What? She's from Super Martial Arts Archery Club. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 
Okay, so we're about to get powers from her. <laughs> they just changed the fucking title of this anime. The title of this anime is my instant death ability is so overpowered, you know, blah, blah, blah. But right now it's my guardian angel is so overpowered. <laughs> the other world of paradise is a piece of cake. Oh. Oh, who, oh, hello. Celestina, hello. Hiding our stats. That's a lot of money. We're asking her to invest our wealth? Um. Why is she so down? Okay, she is totally down to do whatever. Okay, can we trust her? Okay, sure. Hey, it's the cat girl that we killed. <laughs> Nya, you dead now. I don't know how to feel about this ghost, man. Yeah, we have trains. It's not CGI though, hold up. Yo, that was not a CGI train that actually put in some art. Oh, this is how we're powering up his, uh, you know, his fucking Nintendo DS or some shit. Because she's scared of him? Yogiri can't see her? Okay. Yogiri can, right? So he can, okay. Yogiri's pretty chill with her. What is he even playing? I want to know. Training. Yeah, it's a little bit suspicious how she knows so much and she's just helping. Oh, what the fuck? What the f He knew? How did he know? How did he know here? Look, 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 and that- What the fuck? What happened there? Oh, is he actually playing Monster Hunter? No, you're just saying that because that was playing Monster Hunter. He can sense killing intent. So I'm trying to understand, like, um... Did he sense the Wyvern stuff, too? I guess he did. Yeah, so he, he has, like, super senses and obviously the power of death. Okay. So instantly just pushes her down. Who is this? Is it one of our students attacking? Who is this? Who is it? Wait, is that a UFO? Was that a UFO? What? Uh, oh, okay, back with the guards? Mireyu's dead, sorry. <laughs> oh, they're doing some, like, autopsy. Oh, 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 oh! She is sexy, but that's dangerous. Okay, so we're basically doing like autopsy report. He's not dead yet, but they're trying to understand like how did Yogiri damage this thing? Okay, okay, yeah. He said like dead, like eyes or something, right? So he went blind. <gasps> but she still can't see. The vision is still cut off. And yeah, I, you could pretty much just farm organs like this all you want, huh? So her name is Lane. Damn. Oh my goodness. I like her a lot. I hope that she doesn't get mob character out of the way. I hope that we don't just kill her immediately. Goddamn, she looks real nice, right? Okay, Vision still doesn't come back because Yogiri's thing. Uh, what are you doing? She vampire? She must be a vampire, right? She's a sage too. Her class is Origin Blood, the highest rank of undead. Finally, a vampire that's not a lolly. We got a MILF vampire. Thank you. Thank you. So other people can become vampires too. Okay, okay. But he's still blind, right? Okay. Damn. She just saved Jorge. Who? Who? Who the fuck is that? What? Wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this from Jorge right here. No fucking effect right now. All he did was a piece of complete. He's a hero class. There's no effect here. I feel like this is intentional. I don't know. I'm kind of confused about this show sometimes. Are they trying to be funny here or is this intentional? I don't know. Okay, the hero class has appeared and we go cutscene back to the train. So, unintentionally, we got involved in the fight. 
What the fuck? It's a Gundam. Yeah, what is an aggressor? It's just... Okay. Some kind of hostile invader. And the fighter is... Is that important? You have good eyes. Well, the spirit does say, I'm going to give you, bestow you upon the arts of the whatever clan and, and, you know, archery and martial arts. So, you know, archery, you got to have good vision. So is this kind of proof that she just has enhanced vision now? I, I guess so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Straight up, just an isekai character versus a Gundam. What is happening? Yogi doesn't really care, right? He could just say die, right? Otherwise, I'll end up killing people for no reason. So I guess we don't really have to worry about like Yogi's sense of morals, right? Because so far in the beginning, she was kind of worried about what he might do, but he seems to be kind of grounded on who he should kill and shouldn't kill. So he's not just like a homicidal maniac. Yeah. Okay. Much better person than me. I'll be abusing the shit out of that. Wait, is an attack coming for us? Yo, the Gundam again. Santaro, okay. Okay, well, if he is now attacking the bystanders, maybe we should kill him too. No, not Lane! Okay, Vampire Milf didn't take too much damage. She's pretty tanky or what? Oh, instant heal. Let's see that again? What the fuck was the point of that? I thought the sword would explode or something. You just threw away your weapon for what reason? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did Ain figure out some kind of secret plot? What's going on? We should be attacking the demon lords, but we're attacking the sages. Did, did this character figure something out the secrets? What's going on? Okay, 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 my bad. I casted judgment too quick. The sword is gonna blow up, my bad. But all sages deserve to be wiped out. What secret did he figure out? Damn! Okay? Like, it's pretty cool that all these characters are showing up and just doing crazy fights, but like, I have no clue who these characters are, so it, it's kind of like meaningless, but okay, let him cook. He figured out some kind of secret. He's trying to attack the sages. Oh, he's gonna give us an excuse to use death. This guy's power tripping. I think this warrants it. Yeah, death. He didn't even. Whoa, 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 whoa. We heard the bell, though. We, we heard the bell, though. Ding, and already dead. Okay. I agree, it was warranted. But what about the aggressor? Is he chill or what? Oh, okay, the gun down is pretty chill. And Lane is still alive, let's go! She probably just healed it? What happened? She just healed it, right? Oh, she just straight up immortal. Damn, this girl's sick. Is she looking for a way to die? So whenever she meets Yogiri, it's going to be really interesting. I hope that she continues to live. I just love her design. I'm just simping for the MILF vampire. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> I don't feel like it? Bye. <laughs> okay. Interesting. The robot understands immediately. Yep. So, they're from other worlds. We're gonna go to Gundam world? What? So he's kind of like half here, half not? What the fuck? This world as being on the lowest level. Yo, this world building, I, I am so confused, but it's getting pretty complex. Okay. That voice acting, man. 
Yeah, he did. Ariel's place, right? Yeah. Shion. Shion. About the darkness? Wait, 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 wait. This is really important dialogue. I, I gotta focus here. I gotta fucking focus here. I'm gonna replay this. Right, with instant that we can kill. That's right, not a gift. But p is it instant death magic or is it totally different, right? Because what she was saying, I think, is like different from what Yogi in it has, right? He would have resistance, so this is further proving that it's not instant magic, then magic. Because if he had resistance, then it shouldn't work. So Yogi has something different. And Lane is interested because she wants to maybe die. I don't know what the darkness here implies, but really important things, okay? Dealing with aggressors is important. But why do aggressors even exist in this world, right? So aggressors just show up to fight sages in this world? Why? What the fuck? But we can't overlook someone with the power to kill sages. This, this world building is so interesting. Hmm. Deal with the darkness in return? What does that mean? What does that mean? The immortal corpse. Just little lab rats to her, maybe? Regardless, she's super interested in Yogiri. So the more friendly we go to aggressors, obviously other people in this world are gonna think that we're enemies too. Huh? What do we got? A sword? It's an item that can freely change its form so it could turn into an arrow and bow to kind of use her like archery skills that she apparently got from the ghost. Don't worry about it. It's got a free-form shaping weapon. It can also be our underwear. Okay, the fan surface is there too. I see. I see the. I see the vision. Yes, I see it. <laughs> all right. Anyways, all right. That's the episode. This episode felt very plot heavy a lot of exposition just info dump dude the girl the, the ghost coming out of fucking nowhere <laughs> within the span of like 10 seconds they just shoved like 20 pages of fucking dialogue and i'm like whoa okay whatever the darkness the aggressors i have no clue there's even like different levels and apparently where we are at is like the lowest level no fucking clue but it, at least it keeps like the world very building very like interesting and mysterious i feel like it could have been a little bit slowed down but still we have some exciting moments in the beginning with just like trouncing the cat girl and her bandits but that's it from me hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.